All right, there, folks, and welcome back to Chelsea Champions League semi finals day. Into Milan, the opponents. We travel to to Milan, obviously. It's Italy for those who who don't know. I'm sure you you do know. A couple of games to catch up on Premier League wise. Bournemouth, a 2-0 victory and a 3-1 victory away at Crystal Palace. The goals will be appearing on your screen in a moment. Roll VT. But today is all about Inter Milan. As we, we looked at them last time, uh, they've got a few players that are unregistered. Uh, Pavon is out as well. Uh, Asamoah is suspended. Chibol Sidibe is decent left back, isn't he? So, well, right back in this. I'm surprised they've not got him registered. Maybe it was homegrown rules. You know, we've fallen foul of those ourselves. So, yeah, teams are in the tunnel. I'll see you pitch side to confirm that team in just a minute. So there we have the teams then. Pretty much what we class as our full strength side. We rested players for both the last Premier League games, which is why you saw players uh, like Lincoln finally getting his first couple of goals for the club. Also, uh, Giroud playing, Mount, Barkley, etc. But Zappa Costa is back and has been performing very well. Uh, the star is assumedly good. So, yeah, full strength. Alonso left, Zappa Costa right. Uh, Emerson's unlucky, really, because... Marcus Alonso just seems to, to really be a creative outlet. But Hazard will play on the left side of midfield today with Maratta and Bellotti up front, as I say. Mario Riccardi leading the line for Inter Milan. Uh, you know, give him a sniff and he'll score a hat-trick. No doubt about it. So let's tell the lads that we have belief and passion. And, yeah, we just playing in the yellow, of course. Milan in the black and blue. The famous black and blue. The Nez... 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 Nez I can't, remember. I, don't, I can't remember how you say the word ne Nerazuri or something like that the black and blue as Sergei comes forward but tackled by Arta and Koeman's cross and a push by Bellotti on Vesico 20 minutes in there not a lot's gone on Marcus Alonso's corner headed away Bellotti collects it on the edge of the penalty area tries to play it through but no one well it was deflected Zuma picks it up though Sergei left side now Aiden Hazard can he work an angle for a cross? He can. Andrea Bellotti scores. 22nd goal of the season. An away goal to take with us back to the bridge at the very least. Lovely work by Hazard. Never panicked. Waited for the right time to cross the ball. Didn't just put it into an area. Picked out a man as Andrea Bellotti found space at the near post. Just a side foot. Wrong footed the uh, Intel Milan goalkeeper, uh, Handanovic. Well, praise the boys just as Inter Milan take a goal kick. Sergei wins it in the air and heads on to Maratta. Here's the coming down this right-hand side. Bit of space. Can he cross? He can. Sergei just over the crossbar. Chelsea flowing forward at the moment. But here's Keita Belde. And it looked as though... It's a second yellow card for Kurt Zuma. Kurt Zuma's been sent off in his last two Champions League games. I'm just going to take a quick moment and look at how many fouls Kurt Zuma's actually committed. Uh, two fouls. So each one definitely a yellow card. Cheers, ref. Good one, mate. So that's taken the wind out of our sails somewhat. We do have to make a change. I'm going to leave Maratta up front. Balotti has scored, but we're going to bring on Rudiger and play him in centre defence with Regani. You know, have a word, ref. Have a word. Have a word. Arthur Cross is headed away and Keita Balde now and deflected and in. And suddenly the referee, oh, Strom Bergson, huge name. Huge embarrassment for him. Two yellow cards from two fouls. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. An own goal, as it turns out, from Sergei. Must have def just deflected in off him. Indeed, hit him in the face. And uh, nothing Kepa can do with that. So, half-time then. We just tell the boys that we still can get the results, of course. 1-1, not a bad, terrible 
or even poor result, really, given the fact that we're down to 10. Uh, as long as we have something to work with back at the bridge, we can, I think we can do the business. Arthur collects this one and uh, unleashes one not far wide. Good effort. So we've, we've still bossed this game. If it wasn't for the referee, you know, I'm just going to pause there. I'm just going to have a quick look at the Inter Milan stats just to see. Uh, I mean, this guy's committed three fouls and is still on the pitch. So that's a good one. So in now, uh, DeMarco and, uh, well, Keita Balde is that, is, seems to be playing pretty well. As Marcus Alonso comes straight through Icardi and wins the ball. I think it was on Icardi anyway. Back heel then to Hazard. <laughs> He's pulling out all the tricks. Unfortunately, Hazard can't finish it. Lovely bit of play from Marcus Alonso. And now we need to be defensively sound on that side as Nangolan. And another deflected strike. It's an own goal again, Rudiger. I mean, Inter Milan, are they the luckiest side in Europe? It seems to be the case. They've bought the referee off and now Rudiger has uh, had the ball deflected in off him. There's just no joy. There's just no justice. Nangolan there. I mean, it's a strange motion from Rudiger. Let's not, let's not get away from that. We'll ask the boys to be creative. We're going to make changes. I don't really think we can fault the performance so far. I think we've been excellent in in all respects. It's just incompetent, buffoonish refereeing again. 15 minutes to play in Vashaiko. Throws the ball into Gagliardini. Skriniar goes all the way back to Handanovic in the inter goal, who clears up towards DiMarco. You can see how much space that we're having to leave up front now with just the one man up there in Maratta. Gagliardini, nine goal and... And, uh, well, picked off by uh, some... I couldn't catch it there. I was trying to read the uh, the name. I didn't catch it. Skriniar goes all the way back to Handanovic. Terrible play by by Inter. And, really, Maratta should do better. He's got a lot of pitch to work on there. He could have just ran around the goalkeeper. He was so far out of his goal. But Maratta might be in here against De Vrij. He is. And uh, saved by Handanovic. Maratta has missed two golden opportunities in the last few minutes. <sighs> It's always the way, isn't it? You leave one striker on and it seems that you pick the wrong one. Morata, I thought, might have turned the corner of his goal scoring ah, difficulties. We're going to bring Mason Mount on for Sergei. Sergei's not had a great game, 6.3. Emerson's corner. Zappacosta goes jumping but doesn't win it. Morata works it out to Emerson. Back to Morata. That would have been a penalty, I'm sure, if it was the other way around. As uh, Icardi brings it forward and nine goal and in acres of space. And he slides it through. So 3-1. This referee has cost us big time with nonsense, nonsense, uh, non-dismissal of Inter Milan players. Three twos. So why was why was Kurt Zuma sent off for two two offences? I just don't get it. Nine goal on their wrong-footed Kepa. Zappa Costa's throw in then. We're, we're playing out time. Kante plays it to Emerson. We, we're still in this. We're still in this and we deserve to have won today. But for, as I say, a ridiculous refereeing from an incompetent buffoon, we've bossed the game in the main. Two own goals, unfortunate own goals, and a ridiculous red card for Kurt Zuma. Booked inside four minutes. I don't know what that was for. The second one didn't look too bad, just a pullback. Yeah, they've got players who committed more fouls than, than Zuma. Okay. So, yeah. We have to be uh, unhappy with the performance because we, we should have scored goals. Maratta missed two goal, golden opportunities. But as I say, wasteful blues, incompetent officials in the Champions League again. And Zuma banned, not for his own fault, just because of the moron of a referee. Anyway, let's let's move on. Let's focus on the positives. We've got an away goal. We only need to win by two. Well, we need to win 2-0, really, as, uh, as a minimum. And then we should see ourselves into the Champions League final, which would represent a significant progress and uh, quite an achievement, I think, especially being 3-1 down at this point. Uh, and gentlemanly conduct. I mean, do one, ref. You're having a joke, mate. Anyway, do pop a like on there for me and subscribe if you haven't already. Far more Football Manager 2019 content coming very soon. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. That'll be that second leg. Take care and goodbye. <laughs>